All right, what's going on there, folks? Uh, good afternoon. The Earthmaster back here on the live stream. Everything uh, looks good up and running here uh, with the live stream. Looks pretty uh, decent. Everything running perfectly, I think. So anyway, getting ready uh, for an update video here. Uh, a little bit of activity to chat about uh, up in uh, the Northern California area. Uh, it is Saturday, January 29, 2022, about 2.17 p.m. West Coast time here in California. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out the latest earthquake activity here on the map. You can see that movement uh, up there in Northern California area. Right around the uh, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Seeing a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity. And uh, definitely a lot more activity than shown here on the map. Uh, here's the all magnitudes here. Uh, showing that earthquake activity outside of Eureka and the Arcata area just south here. Uh, some pretty deep movement into the subduction zone. Subduction zone earthquakes are normally down there uh, where we're seeing this earthquake activity 23-25 kilometers down dip into the Cascadia. The southern branch here, the southern end I should say. Seen uh, quite a few twos and some threes kick up here in this region of the state. Also the swarm over here in the Covalo area. Uh, kind of dying down a little bit, although we've seen almost a three-pointer earlier today, a 2.9 kick up. Uh, it was downgraded, and then a 1.7, the most recent quake here outside of Covalo. Some uh, relatively shallow earthquake activity along the Bartlett Springs fault system here, but uh, overall generally a signif uh, significant sign of uh, regional pressure here in Northern California. Uh, in the Bay Area, some movement out there outside of Concord along the Hayward Fault Zone. Haven't seen too much activity here on the Hayward Fault. That activity, uh, generally microquake activity kicking up right now. Nothing significant and a little bit of activity stretching down towards the uh, Calaveras Fault Zone into the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, activity in Nevada and the eastern part of Sierra Nevada is all looking pretty heightened today. Uh, typical uh, in a California day, earthquake day, I guess. A Ridgecrest region seeing some activity within the last hour as well. Mostly microquakes within that vicinity and activity along the uh, southern part here of the state. North of Los Angeles, Santa Barbara area seeing some earthquake activity in the microquake range along this uh, fault system here. Just to the north of the Los Angeles area. Salt and Sea, uh, looks like within the last hour here, we're seeing a little bit of activity, a 1.4 kick up, pretty shallow, just off the Brawley Seismic Zone here. It's an extensional fault system of the San Andreas Fault, the plate boundary, so to speak. Western part of the, uh, did we just have another one just come in there? It looks like uh, into the uh, Northern California region, the 2.6. So activity kind of ramping up here, folks, in kind of a big way up here in Northern Cal. Uh, a little bit of movement outside of Mount St. Helens as well. Some microquakes. Uh, eastern part of the country looking pretty quiet. Although we did see another earthquake in Ohio. 2.0. That uh, activity uh, in a little cluster of quakes that we've seen in this region over the last several, uh, I should say, couple weeks. Got five earthquakes now for total within the last 30 days. Pretty, uh, as far as the depth of these earthquakes range from about four to seven kilometers or so. So uh, some interesting activity kicking up here uh, in the northern uh, no northern Ohio area, Lake Erie region. Go ahead and check out the rest of the globe. Some movement kicking up in Haiti again. Seen a couple fours kick up here along this fault boundary. It runs uh, west to east there. So got to watch that region pretty closely there. We could still see a, a little bit larger quake in the region. Also Venezuela off the coast here. Uh, seeing a uh, 5.1 near the Trinidad and Tobago area. Right here, this area seen a little bit of movement kick up. Seems as though, and been watching that prior to the Haiti earthquake activity, we were watching uh, some movement kick up down here. So uh, could go hand in hand, hand in hand with the uh, plate dynamics here and the movement. Uh, to expect to see Haiti earthquake activity kick up further uh, following that movement in the uh, Trinidad area. Uh, still seeing some activity in the Kermadec Trench, although not as significant. Quite a few fours and fives kicking up here following the 6.5. Okay, it looks like uh, they upgraded it. Uh, originally came in as a 6.6, .6, got downgraded to 6.4 now. 
settled in at a 6.5 right in between. So quite a few fives and uh, fours kicking off here in this region. Still watching that area pretty closely. Seen some continued deep movement up here in the Fiji area with a 4.4 at 610 kilometer depth. And also activity uh, ramping up in the Indonesia area. Still ultimately pretty quiet along the Japan Trench northward. And the uh, Lucian Trench here, seeing a little bit of activity ramp up here in the swarm of fours kicking up here. Uh, standard depth here that looks like about 35 kilometers into the subduction zone of the Aleutian Trench. Uh, Hawaii kind of kicking up around the Mauna Loa area. Let's go ahead and check out this activity. Of course, southeast flank region seeing a uh, typical movement. Uh, Kilauea looks pretty quiet, but uh, seeing a swarm of activity just to the west of the crater area of the Mauna Loa region. Uh, nothing significant at the moment, but uh, definitely seeing some shallow earthquake activity uh, ramp up here looking at uh, about 13 earthquakes or so right around the Mauna Loa area over the last 30 days uh, we've seen a pretty broad area of earthquake activity around Mauna Loa and um, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if this thing is going to start getting into a, uh, a um, active stage here pretty soon I'm going to go back over here to the uh, uh, HVO. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. Stand by for one second. Could have swore I had it up here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. It's been a fun day. Been working on the stream a little bit. Uh, just re redoing some wires, putting some new uh, cable in and whatnot. Uh, everything seems pretty stable for now. So uh, let's check out the update on the Mona uh, Loa area. Uh, still looking at advisory in yellow. No update since last Thursday. Uh, of course, this is uh, Mauna Loa is the largest active volcano on this planet, our planet, our home. Uh, looks like it's about 13,000 feet above sea level. It does have a pretty eruptive history, and uh, unfortunately, it's been a while since we've seen um, activity really ramp up on here on the Mauna Loa area. Our last eruption was uh, back in 1984 here. Mauna Loa last erupted in 1984. Uh, looks like... Uh, Intervals between eruptions ranging from months to decades, but we're getting in on some, uh, I mean, 1984, it's an extended period of time to not see any type of eruptive history. Uh, so we've got to watch uh, this volcano pretty closely. But uh, no current updates, no uh, different uh, notifications on the alert levels. Uh, and there has been a little bit of seismic activity above uh, background levels, it looks like. Here they mentioned about uh, rates of seismicity remain slightly elevated above long-term background levels, but have not changed significantly over the last week. But I'm sure that's going to change now with the swarm uh, going on. Uh, monitoring data streams, ground deformation, and GPS appear. Visual appearance and webcams show no significant changes. So, but we got to keep an eye on that uh, with any type of swarming like this around a volcano. And it's down there around uh, where we would see typical magma movement uh, and somewhat some shallow earthquake activity as well in that region. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I think that's about it for earthquake activity. Just watching the Northern California region. Uh, it's showing some, uh, definitely some heightened movement here. And there's a lot more activity that's being reported here on this map. Covalo northward. Uh, into the southern end of the Cascadia. Tremor activity last night was kind of heightened in the southern Oregon and northern California area. Uh, that could be contributing to buildup of stress here towards the surface. Of course, down dip downstream, 25, 35 kilometers into the slippage area, uh, ultimately applying back building of pressure at the locked area of the Cascadia and other surface regions where we're seeing the activity there in northern California. Uh, over the last 24 hours so we'll see what the trimmer looks like tonight uh, folks in a further update uh, which will be provided later on this evening uh, let's see if we can't get missy memes to jump in here again and uh, join us on the uh, earthquake update but uh, live stream is up and running uh it's i think everything's good i hope everything's good i've been having some major issues with it and uh, it's not the computer uh, I think it's uh, the only thing I can think of is someone sending me massive amounts of packets somehow and uh, preventing my my uh, upload data packets from being successfully sent or somehow they're being blocked. 
but uh, I don't know. It's it's I can't put my finger on it. I'm working on it. Uh, nothing to do with the computer or router or modems or wires. But I went ahead and replaced everything today with the uh, with the internet when it comes to routers and wires. And we're just uh, testing it out, seeing how it's going to work on this stream uh, for now. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we won't have any further issues. I mean, it's just a little annoying to have, uh, to have to restart the stream, you know, all the time. And uh, af after months of running consecutive and perfectly with no issues, you know, we start having issues back to back. And it's like nonstop. <laughs> but we will get it. We'll work through it and uh, keep the live stream up and running. It's not going anywhere. Uh, that's a 100% certain fact that I'd uh, definitely make a promise about. All right, guys, have a good day. It looks kind of on the globe here. It looks pretty quiet out here. We didn't see a whole lot of movement up up and down the Philippine Plate or the uh, Japan Trench area. Uh, just kind of uh, seems like activity has come to a halt over here to the west after the activity last night in the Kermadec Trench. But now we're getting uh, we're getting the west coast lighting up like crazy. So uh, be on guard, folks. Stay alert. Be prepared. And we will chat you guys Tonight, with a complete update video, have a good day, folks.